Did you know that Bandai sells Tamagotchis to this day? Okay, I know, some of you will say to me why this is a relevant for today's video. Well, Digimon was a concept originate from the Tamagotchi franchise initially, but it added a few things. Instead of just having a digital pet, you have a digital monster, and instead of just taking care of your pet, you could also fight with other players. And so, it was created Digimon as a whole in 1997. But, where should I go from this? Digimon as a video game franchise is irregular from my taste. If you compare, for example, with Pokemon, you can see that in one franchise have done the same old formula that some are questionable at best, but it still sells. Unlikely Digimon that some of their games is a hit or miss. But, the only thing that come closer to the original concept, you know, the Tamagotchi, is from this game. Although the mechanic is very, very clunky, comparing to later games like Digimon Red Digitize or Digimon Next Order, it was the very first game after all. I revisited this game again and today I'm going to talk about Digimon World. Before to go from the start to the main menu, you are introduced a cutscene from the game. Two children playing the park and the main character being late and whizzing after running probably six blocks without getting any rest, he came just in time to see the epic battle between Metal Mememon versus Metal Greymon, giving us an epic fight. Although in real life will be something like this. Anyway, after the cutscene, we see the main menu, we press start to a new game, and Digimon will question us with two simple yes or no questions. Depending on how you respond, you will get either by Agumon or Gabumon. After that, we get another cutscene, now the main character inside of the apartment, damn he lives well, and for some magic, his Digivice will start to blinking absorbing him because blood. Once you wake up from this totally normal event, you will see Digimon with a bunch of other Digimons and your own Digimon, of course. Basically, the whole plot is this. Digimons live in peace in Fire City, but recently they started to lose their hearts. Because of that, some started to become more aggressive, incapable of speaking, and they just start fighting with anyone. Meanwhile, other Digimons got amnesia and can remember that they live in Fire City. You were in bulk because they saw your potential of raising Digimons. In theory, <laughs> with your ability of making your Digimon stronger by being a good caretaker, they ask you to fight City to be great again and save the Digimon world. You accept the challenge because you can escape, and honestly, what else would you do? When you exit to Digimon House, you can move your character. You can go freely into the gym or into the second area from File City. Before to get your very first battle though, I recommend you to go over Digimon House again, just to talk to this little guy. He will give you good items at the start. This is optional too, but I suggest you to train your Digimon a little bit. After training a little bit and taking care of whatever your Digimon is feeling at the moment, you go over native forest and fight with Agumon. It's a very easy fight. After you defeat him, Agumon will open an item bag beside from Digimon house and yeah. From here, your mission is finding different Digimons around the game, with ones you need just to talk to them, others by fighting and others by getting at weird conditions, which all are puzzle spaces, which is fun, except the little tiny thing that is really grinding game. You will visit more the gym than the actual area from the game, oh yeah. You will always come back here. Now that I explained the Tamagotchi concept, it's time to bring it on now. Not only you will fight with very interesting Digimons and make them to return to the city, but your main priority is always, always treat your Digimon at the best you can do. Your Digimon have three basic needs. Eat, 
go toilet and sleep. If you get a good eye from these three needs, you will have a happy Digimon. If not, you will have something called training mistakes. If you have too much training mistakes, eventually your Digimon won't listen to you, making it more difficult for you to train and have a good Digivolution in the future. Making your Digimon happy, however, won't be the only thing you need to do. You also need to discipline them. And by disciplining them, you have these two buttons, praise and scold. For example, scold them if you think they took more than three pieces of food or they won't take the HP disc for healing outside from combat and praise them when they go toilet in time or when they finish a bottle. However, do not scold them too much because they will become rebellious. In my case, I just praise them till the bar gets something like this. Sometimes it's annoying to keep an eye this mechanic because in my case, I get in bed with the story, but I can't continue because the Digimon for some reason is powerful now, so I need to Digivolve to continue and it's a pain in the ass. Digivolution is very important in this game. If you evolve as the Digimon you want, your stats will become higher, making the exploration much easier. But it's difficult to do it blindly. I believe you need specific stats from each Digimon evolution. If your stats overpass and not got behind, the only thing you will get is this. Everyone's favorite! You can see the requirements in the internet, but still. Also, we have the combat system from the game. Every time you enter in a combat, you will see these square symbols. At first, you will have very few options to do. But if you train the brains from your Digimon, it unlocks more combat options. Then, we have the special attack. After you fill this little board, you press the button on the screen and if you want to make your special attack more powerful, you just have to press L1 and R1 quickly, releasing a powerful attack from your normal base attack. Also, we have a technique menu. Basically here you can choose which attack you would like to use for your current Digimon. I believe you can gain new abilities by fighting other Digimons in battle, but you have to be in the same element. I mean, after all, a Digimon of Ice can learn Fireball, can it? But in my case I won an ability by just studying the brain's training board, so yes. <laughs> Each time you win, you will earn something called bits. It's the currency from this world. I gotta say that bits is pretty easy to obtain. Once you get a stronger Digimon, I suggest you to grind the black parabons right here because it gives you good money at the start. You will need bits if you want to buy healing items or food. And let me tell you, if you don't want to fight every single time with a Digimon just to earn a little tiny money, you can always sell items, although don't sell everything, because you might need it later on. At least when you're starting your journey. In my case, I don't sell anything because I'm a hoarder. If you do boss battles, you can win tons of money though. But also you have to check your Digimon's tiredness. If it's too tired, you might need rest, otherwise you might lose Lose a heart. Like I say, take care of your Digimon! Pretty please and thank you. Each Digimon have three hearts. If you lose in a combat or get too sick, your Digimon will lose a heart. If the Digimon lose all the hearts though, it's gonna die. So you're gonna choose another egg and train in your baby Digimon until it's rocky again. And you basically will repeat all over again just to make a decent Digimon in your adventure. You see now what I meant by this game is grinding base? Can you see? You know, can ya? That being said, the game is not bad at its sounds, honestly. It's like playing Dark Souls. You feel the need to keep continuing the story, despite of how boring, grinding, or difficult the story gets, and that's a good game design. <laughs> in theory, <laughs> some mechanics still very clunky, not gonna lie. If you like this type of games, I suggest you to download an emulator and ISO from your trustworthy website. It's on the PlayStation 1 after all. And thank you so much for watching this video. Give me a like, subscribe and comment. And see you next time.